Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back for a new video, and as you can tell, I got the Braves drip, and there's a good reason for that. So, as y'all know, yesterday, the Braves lost 7-4 when I went to Miami. I drove four hours to get there, spent the whole day there, and drove four hours to get back just to see them lose 7-4. And I also couldn't even see my favorite player, Ronald Acuna, which is why I'm wearing this. Mr. Ronald Acuna, he's gone for the season. <laughs> like, I actually emotionally, and you know, I'm upset about that. Can't imagine how he feels. You gotta pay the respect for Acuna. Arguably, top three um, baseball player right now. Just got taken out of the season. But a good thing about that is, so, um, I read an article that said Mickey Mantle... Tore his knee or did something with his knee, came back, became one of the greatest center fielders of all time. Who knows, maybe Cunha will do the same thing. But, enough with Acuna. I just had to tell y'all why, why I'm wearing my Braves. It's an Acuna jersey. Uh, if you need proof, I can just DM you, whatever. But as y'all know, you already know who the bosses are for Season 3, Team Affinities. But we want to look at the rewards. Because you know, the rewards are the fun part. So... When you get five, you get a uniform. We got some new uniforms. That's cool. Two, two team affinity packs, two uniforms. Um, you can get a space one pack, more uniforms. The diamonds, we got 98 over. They're putting them in the 30 spot. What the heck? Now, are they sellable? No, they are not sellable. So if that was your first thing, they are not sellable. But it's like the 98s to 96s. Maybe 99 or 2. Here, I'll, I'll just take off my face cam for the rest of the video. Or until we get past these. Cedric Mullins. <sighs> this card looks like a good bench bat, not a good fielder. Decent speed. Raphael Devers, max stop power, great bench bat. That's about it. Don't recommend putting him at third over Chipper, Aaron Judge. I just don't recommend him because he's such a tall player. It's going to be hard at squaring up, but he looks like... A phenomenal player or a phenomenal card to use but I just don't recommend him unless you really like a swing Teoscar Hernandez you probably could sneak him in your lineup if you really wanted to but more of a bench bat and Mike Zanino he's giving Kyle Schwarber a run for his money only thing I don't like is that 45 contact against righties so more of a bench bat then you get more team affinity packs a, um the space 2 pack another one of these packs Five. Jesus, they give you a lot of packs. So it's looking like they've replaced the um, mini. Oh, it's only 100 points now to get it? Does that mean that they made this harder? Yo, hold up. Five points for this one. So I think they wanted to make this harder, I guess, or 12. So you get 15 points from just doing all the moments. Exchanges. You get, let's see, 15 plus 15, 30, and then 40. So you can get 45. So between the moments and the exchanges, you can get 60. Holy crap. So you can get two ball ins, a ton. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's looking like Showdown ain't going to be the move anymore. Bro, Showdown ain't looking like the move. Bro. And it's 20 points. Y'all, this is like the easiest team affinity we've ever had. <laughs> like, I'm just putting it straight up. It takes five showdowns to get, to complete this program. All right, let's look at the AL Central. All right, STS, this is a big dub. Big dub. All right, so I'm trying to let the cards load in. Jose Ramirez. It looks like a bench bat. That's about it. Carlos Rodon. Not liking the control. The pitches are kind of basics, but he, he has a pretty good wind or wind up, whatever. Salvi. If you want to put Kyle Schreiber in the outfield, this would be the guy to put at catch here, if I'm going to be honest. Great hitting. Decent fielding, but I'd still keep Kyle back there. Nelson Cruz, phenomenal bench bat. That's all he's ever going to be and ever will be. Great power. Gregory Soto. We got the new um, boosted Zach Britton. I think he has outlier. This guy has outlier, I think. Yep. So his sinker's gonna be coming in 99. Gregory Soto. Only thing I don't like is that control. 
but he is going to be really effective. Recommend that card. So yeah, I recommend only Salvi and Soto out of this. The other guys you can live without. Alright, so then we move to the AL West. The AL West. Oh, if you guys care about the jerseys, you can go look at them yourself. <laughs> so, AL West, we got Matt Olson. This card's actually more underwhelming than I thought. I thought he would have 115 plus on both sides on power. This is kind of actually disappointing. But he, he makes up with it for contact and defense. I would not take out Big Poppy for him, though. Adolis Garcia. Bench bat, that's about it. He's going to be. Jared Walsh. Great bench bat, that's about it. Michael Brantley. Don't even think about putting this card in your team. Alright, you see Kikuchi. Kikuchi? So he's a starting pitcher with a cutter, four seam slider, and change up. Interesting. Does not throw the hardest. And he's. Yeah, I don't know what I think about this card. Perks. Yeah, I don't know what I think about this card. You might want to go to a different creator if you want to know if you want to use this card or not. I would probably say I don't recommend it, just because he has a pr everything you can kind of read what it's going to be. AL West, I'm going to see this Ozzy Albies card. Let's see this Ozzy Albies card. 98 overall, and we got 99 overall Jacob deGrom. Only thing about Jacob deGrom is, he looks phenomenal on paper, it's just, when it comes to actual game, he's not the best. But what the heck am... What? Oh my god. If this card plays the same as his live series, this card's gonna be booty. But I think those pair of nines are gonna help him out. Because, yeah, he's got outlier and everything. He's got all the live series quirks, everything, throwing 99. Yeah, this card's gonna be pretty filthy. And you got Trey Turner. Actually, decent power. Fat. If you really wanted to, you could put him in, like, at, like, shortstop if you really wanted to. Ozzy Albies. The man has cracked out power against lefties. I am going to give Ozzy Albies a debut on my team. He might overtake Marcus Simeon just because I got it. Bro, I got to get Ozzy Albies on the team since I'm a Braves fan. Not going to be the best against righties. At minimum, he's going to be a bench bat for me. JT Brown Muto. If you want more of a defensive catcher, pick up JT. Otherwise, adios. Trevor Rogers. Not really impressed with him. Really basic pitch mix. I'm not looking... This isn't looking too good. Like, I was looking for a new starting pitcher, too. Oh, I love that Braves uniform. And I like the Expos jersey. Alright, NL Central. I'm looking for some new pitchers. Alright, here. Out of this, the only one I really like are the Reds and the Pirates. If I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Alright. So, out of here, we got Craig Kimbrell. Don't recommend this card. Phenomenal pair of nines. He's just gonna be too predictable. It's just gonna be a fastball or a curveball. Josh Hader. He, they gave him the changeup. So this card's going to be actually pretty usable. I'm going to be honest. You could actually get away with this card in your bullpen. Really good per nines. 125 on hits and Ks per nine. He has a slider and the changeup. So he's automatically a lot more effective. Don't recommend throwing the changeup that much though. The control on it ain't the best. But you can give that guy a try. Nicholas Castellanos. Great bench bat, that's about it. Alex Reyes. You can actually, you could, yeah, you better have Alex Reyes in your pen. Only thing I'd be worried about is his break. But he does have outlier, so he's gonna exceed. Wait, he has the outlier on his sinker. Interesting. Very interesting. Just walk out, watch out for the walks. But he has a lot of stamina, to be honest. Yeah, he has a lot. Oh my god, Adam Frazier. Don't recommend this card at all. And we only have the NL West now. The NL West, look at the jerseys. The Giants and the Padres are phenomenal. Don't like the Dodgers that much, but whatever. Out of this pack, we got Kevin Gosman. This card, you... Mm, no, you're probably not going to get away with him. Yeah. Don't really recommend it. If you hear rain, I'm sorry. It's raining outside. Jake Cronworth. Maybe a bench pad if you... Or you could film that relief pitch if you really want to test that out. If you really want to test that out. I think he's the one who hit the Grand Slam, right? I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Then we got Eduardo Escobar. You could actually put him... 
If you if you really want to put him at like second or something, you probably could. I don't know about outfield though. Chris Taylor. Don't recommend him really at all. Maybe a bench bat, that's it. And then Herman Marquez. Just a better overall than his face of the franchise card. If you like this face of the franchise, you're gonna love this card. I was or not face of the franchise, um the stage one team affinities. But that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. In my opinion, the um, players themselves, like their stats were kind of underwhelming, in my opinion. But the rewards make up for that, like, throughout this program. It's going to be so easy to max these out. And I believe maybe Team 1 got even bigger. Nah, uh, it didn't get any more help. But if you didn't complete Stage 2, I believe... Yes, they did. They upgraded the voucher points and stuff if you didn't complete Stage 2. I completed all of them. But instead of having to get to 150, you only have to get to 100, which is a complete dub. I love that. So yeah, you're only going to have to do, if you do the moments and the exchanges, you're only going to have to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 showdowns at most. If you if you want to do the showdown route with exchange and moments. If you want to see the, there's no, what's it called? Uh, conquest, as you can tell. But they do have collections, if you want to collect a lot of these players. And this collection gives you 10 points in the program, so another free 10 points. I mean, you can't really complain about it. But yeah, that's about it. You get missions you can do. So overall, I think this was a complete dub. SDS. <laughs> Round of applause. But be on the lookout for later. I'm gonna be posting my second video. I'm making a double upload video for when the All Star up or when the Homer Derby cards come out, probably, and the ranked season rewards. So yeah, I'll see y'all then. But I gotta get this video ASAP so I can get as many views as possible. But I'm telling y'all, hope you get better. Hope you come back. Like you said, you said you're gonna come back stronger and bigger and better. All that. So let's hope that happens, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.